toffee. Yeah, toffee is perfect. Right, close up your chocolate, Joshua. Okay. Okay. Do you know how to open them? I think they're underneath, maybe, the flap. Or, or do you push them? No, uh, bring it, bring one to me. It felt like we should have been able to get them. Yeah, I think this slides out. Fancy. <laughs> this was in the Hubble's day one. Oh man. <laughs> Hubble, your day one! Are you excited, Ada? Should we push it open? Oh wow, she's I haven't seen her this excited in a long time. <gasps> it's a rainbow cookie. Okay. Let me eat it. <laughs> Ada, I can't see you eating it. She's walking out. Yeah. Now day two. No, oh yeah, because they get two. Oh. Yeah, let them eat them. Yeah. Okay, I'll hide it. Yeah. Yeah. They're pretty big so, cookies. They are never have been this excited. Yeah. Of course, you go to eat it in the pile of Joshua's clothes from last night. Cookies. Okay. Yeah. Oh, hang on. I don't think she will. They're just yeah. dog cookies. They're just dog biscuits. What? Why is this up? Oh, I was using it yesterday for when I opened my advent. I need to go see them eating. They're eating like two people. Mom, that next is oh. the same. Oh, same, this is one of those Ada's same, really got a crunch on it. With the same frosting, except that, then. Yeah. Oh, she got a piece done. She got to really chomp except it. That then it's round. Back in. Let me see. Well, you probably were holding it open while you were doing it, so that's not going to work. Me and Ada, that's a lot of drool. Is it good? Oh my god. Wait, are we having Christmas break? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's only like day two. All right, Christmas break is once we've done all of. Our advent calendars, and then uh -huh. we don't go to school. Yeah. Yeah. We got Ada. We really should do these in the kitchen. This is yeah. too much drool. Do you see how much drool she has over here? It's just flying out of her mouth. Hubble, you can't go. I have to literally use all of my body so they won't go to the cookies. Yeah. Day two. No. Keep them away from Ada's cookie. Hubble, you finish yours. Yeah. I think we should just give them greenies and do day two a little bit later. This is a lot of cookies. Yeah. Um, These are really intense. Yeah. I'll show you. Day two is like. Have they the same, had their other same cookies thing with, No. Okay. Same well, thing. we just won't give them their other cookies. Frosting and it's but it's a circle. Maybe we should wait for yeah. day two until Max is away. Like a donut. It's. I think it's a doggy cookie. I doggy cookie donut. Yeah. I think Ada's eating. Hope that she can. Hey, can I try it? Can I try it? Hmm. Ada, you ready for day two? They don't understand their day two is in Christmas. Oh, look. It's a donut. It's a donut. Look, it can fit right through the cooper. Where is day two? <laughs> oh, it says two. Yeah. It's yeah. the word two. I like doing that. It's fun to pop them. Yeah. Ada, oh, look, these are it's huge. A donut. It's a donut. Okay, if we give them these, no greenies yeah. for a bit. Yeah. This is so much. Yeah. Guys, treat. no greenies or cookies, okay? Yeah, no cookies or yeah. greenies. Wait, why are you eating all my pants? Can, why don't you pick oh, your that's pants up? Good. No, go put your pants away. I don't want to deal with that. Yeah. You'll just wash them if mm. they're not clean. They're Gross, dirty. but they're not going to clean yeah. stuff up as well as towels. Okay, let's get some footage of Hubble eating his. Did you already get it that far down? Yeah. Ada's still trying to bite hers. All right, you might have to guard Ada because I think Hubble's going to be well, done I with this. Oh. I need to blow my nose. Oh. I'll be real quick. So that's he going for me for my cooking of tarts? Probably. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. I mean, it's also for coffee, but there's enough for one cup of tea with the coffee. Awesome. 
Thank you, Ada doll, buddy. Oh, look at Ada. She's just nibbling away over yeah. there. Such a good girl. So dainty. I'm so dainty. No, Hubble. You can't open any more days. <laughs> no more days. It is day two. You can't have more cookies. Very nice boxes. Very nice. Okay. All right. The Woofer's calendar. Eight is done. Okay. So I have days one and two edited and uploading. Well, one is up. Two is uploading right now on YouTube. Um, and the world seems to be conspiring to not let me work today. Um, so I have some work I need to do this weekend. I don't have to, but it's going to make my life easier next week. Um, and just since we have somebody out on maternity leave, it is better if I try to do stuff that I need to do over the weekend so then I can support other people during the week. Sorry, there's a bunch of water in this turtle shell turtle shell being like one of those old pools that looks like a turtle. Um, so anyway, Josh is fixing the door jam um, where like the little locking mechanisms, mechanism goes into for like a doorknob. Um, so he has to like core it out and then potentially he's gonna put something in there. He calls a Dutchman. I don't know. I don't know this stuff. Um, so he has to fix that first before he can get a different door um, for Joshua's room because it also wasn't... Can you stop eating acorn, Hubble? Stop it. Um, it just wasn't latching right before the door just broke. Um, Joshua just slammed it a bunch of times and it made part of it get messed up. So anyway... Um, He's working on that so that it can be drying and stuff. The wood glue can be drying. And then we have time to still get a door before my mom's visit because with just the baby gate, it, the kids would wake her up earlier than she probably wants to be awake when she's here. Um, she's more of a night owl than we are for sure. We get up like really early and we also go to sleep by like eight o'clock. Um, other than Josh, but the kids and I are winding down by like eight. So, um, that's what's happening. And it was really loud and Hubble was freaking out because of how loud the drilling was. So I just gave up trying to do work because he was in my office with me. So I just gave up for now and I have him outside walking him around. Um, he did pee, so maybe he also needed to go potty, but now he's just kind of exploring um i need to also probably bring ada out next because she hasn't been out yet today that's not abnormal for her she typically is a later in the morning pottier um more like 11 or, or 12 even sometimes um so i'm not surprised that she hasn't wanted to go out yet um we did have stuff come in the mail um we got our tv mount for the basement uh they shoved it into our mailbox and left the mailbox open so it was hanging part way out and it rained last night so that was a little frustrating um and you know cars could have clipped it and we paid for like a nice big mailbox that can hold lots of packages so yeah, i'm glad it didn't get trashed but that was annoying and i got my nitpicks order that i ordered whew, a while ago it was at the beginning of November, I think, but they said they had a lot of orders, so it was just taking them a long time to fulfill them. Um, so I got two of the Felicini uh, skeins. So they put out Felici, but it's in a bigger skein. Um, so you can make a whole pair of socks from a single one. And um, I think the stripes are supposed to be smaller. So typically the stripes on Felici are quite thick. Um, and this is supposed to be more of a micro stripe. So I just got two colors just to try it out. That is going to put my hand in the way. Um, 
there was one that was like pale yellow and blue and a taupe and then the other one was I think wagon wheel colors or something I don't know it was like rusts and browns and you know my typical color palette um there was also a mushroom one I thought about but it's very similar to an old one I have that's called sticks and stones that I made a hat for Josh out of um and I have a crap ton of felici so I just didn't need a bunch but I did want to see what it was about and I needed a little bit more for the free shipping so I just threw two in my cart um and then I got a blanket quantity of a tweed yarn um and I didn't know it has kind of like gold like harvest gold flex the tweed flex are harvest gold and plum and cream and it is a light gray because the kids keep stealing my 10 stitch blanket and moving it all over the house which is fine but that's the only like really warm knitted blanket <laughs> and I like to have a knitted blanket on me um, when I sit on the couch so now I don't have one so I think I'm going to knit the um, the Coty blanket from Anna Johanna. Um, I have the pattern for that already. I've had it for a little bit. It's a circular blanket that's knit from the center outward and it's got like different cool lace motifs. It's probably gonna take me a while to knit it, but um, it takes a lot of yarn and it's in worsted weight. And so I was like, I can't afford a big whole blanket quantity of worsted weight yarn that's, um, whatchamacallit, indie dyed, which is fine. I wouldn't want to do indie dyed anyway for a blanket that's going to get really like well loved. Um, but yeah, Nipix is great. It's a good quality. I think it's Highland Tweed is the name of the yarn. Um, so yeah, the Harvest Gold Speckles, or sorry, Neps, uh, was a nice surprise. So I'm going to Put that aside for right now. I don't think I'm going to start it until I kind of finish a couple other things I have on my needles. I want to get a little more work done on the sweater for Josh. Um, and I need to figure out what bag I would put it in. But it's definitely on a during December I'll start it kind of thing. I just need to print out the pattern. Um, maybe I could swatch so I could wind up one skein so I could swatch and figure out what needles that I need. Um, it'll probably be needles I don't use very often because I almost never knit with worsted weight yarn. So it's probably going to be like a an eight or nine. Um, and those are just needle sizes I don't use frequently. So I have certainly have some free for it. But since it's knit in the round, I'm going to need to have interchangeables that I can switch out to a longer cord and at the end point I may need to have two of them with 60 inch cables on either side which I do have some knit fix 60 inch cables um, from when I knit blankets in the past um, so for my two sisters-in-law when each of them got married I knit them a blanket um, I knit one that was in pieces from the Cables Untangled book. Um, and then the other one was a Knit Picks design. It was also cabled, um, but it was a Knit Picks design. I don't remember the name. I don't remember the name of that pattern now, but it's on my, my, um, my Ravelry or if anyone's interested, I could let you know but I used um, Knit Picks Organic Cotton back when they made it. Um, and the other one was out of Blue Sky Organic Cotton. It was cream colored and then the other one was like uh, Toasted Marshmallow, I think was the colorway name. Uh, so I haven't knit a big worsted weight blanket since uh, my younger sister-in-law got married. So that is... <laughs> Two thousand and eleven, I think. No, two thousand ten. So twenty ten. And then obviously my ten stitch was a worsted weight blanket, but that one um, I just took a long time because it was just my when I didn't want to work on anything else kind of project. 
Um, so anyway, that's what came today. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to get our TV up in the basement too. So the kids can watch movies and stuff over Christmas break. And um, Megs will be having a birthday party here um, in December sometime. And um, just wants to have friends over to have cake and movies and stuff. So definitely want to have it up and all the kinks worked out of the system before that happens. Um, so yeah, maybe that's another job Josh could mess around with because he wanted to do the compost turning over, but it's too wet. So he can't do that today. And he likes to do weekend outdoor stuff. Um, since he can't do that, I'm trying to think of like other alternative things he could do. So yeah, mounting the TV and um, doing the door is kind of the stuff for right now. The house is actually pretty clean right now because we had to clean it for Thanksgiving. So there's not a lot to do there. Um, really just straightening, which is the kids that need straighten, not us. Our areas are still fine, um, but they need to clean up their stuff. So, yeah, I'm going to finish up this little walk and then I'm going to go try to work. Um, Megs is volunteering at like a Christmas fair thing that's happening um, from three to five. So I do need to take them to that. I just don't feel like I'm going to be able to get started working until after I take them to that volunteering thing. And then maybe I can get some hours in while well, I'm between when I drop them off and when I have to go pick them up. And then this evening um, after they're back. Because I feel like this morning has been really chaotic. It's just been really chaotic. There's a lot going on. And I was editing a long time. So I need to stay on the editing. I had two days to edit and I should know better because editing does take a lot of time. Um, so yeah, I should have known that the editing was not going to be quick. So yeah, but my hands are cold and I don't have mittens again. Um, so I'm going to try to get Hubble to come back inside. I might check to see if there's an egg. Because they didn't lay one yesterday. So they should, they're due to lay one today. There's our tree in the bag, drying out. Yeah, you guys are so funny. Okay, so I'm really quickly gonna open up packages. So this was my um, day two from Disa. So they're really cute post-it notes um, with like trees on them. I really like them. So I'm going to put those in my, um, I've got like this little pink arc planner that I use for all my work stuff. So I'm going to put them in there. So if I need to write a sticky note, I can do that. Um, and then this one's my chromatic yarns. Oh, I forgot to bring the envelope with the color name in here. Crud. That's all right. I'll check it later. So day two of chromatic yarns. Ooh, wow really pretty cobalt blue color. Wow. That's nice. Um, and then Gabby's has a day too as well, which I didn't think I had this many days because it's like sock sets plus extras. I like that it's kind of random when the dates are for opening. I'm probably covering up the microphone a little bit. Sorry, because I have to hold it with my and oh it's like a little notions pouch but it's quilted so it's got um juniper berries on it 
and pine trees and stuff. And it's black. And the inside is, sorry, I'm going to do this with my mouth. Okay, so on the inside, it's got the uh, Stitching the High Notes logo, so it's from Joanna. She also has a podcast. And then my Jessica Advent. Oh, I didn't turn my door around. Day one. Day two. Is. Oh, blue is the theme of the day. So it's blue and white and it's going to fall. Goodness. It's the Cozy Knitter and the colorway Higge. Higge? Higge, I think. There you go. Very pretty. So that is all of my advents for today. I should not turn that around because I still have the, the yarn is still in it and these are really hard to get back out. So I'll turn them once I've knit in the squares. Just for safety. Okay. Both of the kids are like asking questions and doing stuff. I finally am sitting down to work a little bit. It's 1.37. Um, I also have fries going. So we're just having fries and um, impossible chicken nuggets, which are vegetarian chicken nuggets. So chickenless chicken nuggets. Um, just because I wanted something warm. I wanted a warm comfort meal and that's what that is. Um, so anyway, those should be ready in like 30 minutes and that should be something for Megs to eat before the volunteering stuff. So let's see what I can get done in the next 30 minutes. Hearing. I didn't realize that our town was having the fire truck Christmas parade today, right now. So I got stuck, like, put away through the crosswalk, um, trying to cross the main intersection to get past. Because all of a sudden it stopped and they were dri driving all of the fire trucks across the main road that goes through our town. And so I was just trapped. Um, so I just kind of inched forward as far as I could. And I was like, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I should have been fine to cross um, and make it before the light turned red. So I just sat there for a really long time, parked, watching all of these fire trucks go across with Christmas lights all over them. And there were people crossing all over the place and behind me. And now I'm kind of like in this parking lot near where Meg's volunteered. Because there's nowhere to park. I don't know where I'm supposed to pull in. Like they have the event happening like inside the parking lot of the library. And it's all like coned off. And when I went to drop them off um, beforehand, they had coned it off. So yeah, I'm just gonna walk through this like alley between the two places. That's all I can think of to do. Um, and of course I forgot my knitting. So here I sit in my car with nothing to do. I might read a book, cause I do read a lot on Kindle, the Kindle app on my book or bleh, on my phone. Um, and I do have some books downloaded. So that's probably what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna sit here and read 
um, until Megs texts me that uh, I can go over and that they're all done with elfing. Um, yeah, so that's the plan. Good times. Sitting outside a nail salon and spa. Go get my nails done. They're like, hey, fit me in. It's fine. I do have some nail polish on. This is um, some Moon Cat. It's actually not chipping too bad this time. This is Venus Flytrap is the name of the colorway. And then I've been putting on like the nail tech. Um, there's like four numbers for different damaged nails, but I had some issues with my nails like peeling. So, um, yeah, I've been putting that on there like almost every day and it is, it is helping. They do feel harder again, but I never had that issue with my nails before. So I don't know what's going on. I feel like it happened after I had COVID. So I don't know if it's like something to do with, you know, you, some people lose their hair or lose a lot of hair when, after they have COVID. And I did, I lost a lot of hair after I had COVID. Like it just fell out bunches of it. Um, so wondering if the nails are the same kind of thing that just like with me being sick, like they stopped growing for a little while. Um, so yeah, I'm just working on getting them healthy again. So I'm going to read my book and wait. Ah, uh, life in New England. It's the canon portion of the tree lighting. Why? Your life. It might be fireworks. I don't know. Can't tell if it's fireworks or cannon. Alright, this was our project of today. Well, one of them. Josh hung the... Um, nope, other way. <laughs> Josh hung the uh, flat screen up here. So now we have a TV that isn't an old CRT. I sold my old CRT to a coworker, so it used to be on that table. So now we're going to just have a flat screen and maybe we'll take this um, grid wall stuff and kind of configure some of it underneath just to be a small thing to have the Blu-ray player in and... Um, DVDs, but um, yeah, it doesn't have to be this huge thing anymore, and it'll be able to be cleared out some here, which means the cushions, these are the cushions from the old couch that um, I got rid of, because the springs and everything were kind of shot on it, but I kept the cushions, so those are floor cushions now, um, but yeah, we'll be able to use this space better. I do need to put those shelves back in to this hutch. So that we can like store some more stuff in there. And then here's our fishies. Um, I have these plants. This plant, that plant in the back, and that plant are new. So I need to actually plant them. I have one more plant I need to plant inside the dirt. But um, we've had a lot of fish death recently. Um, I got some new fish and most of them didn't survive, but these, um, glowfish tetras did survive, although we are missing one right now, so I'm not sure if he's alive or not somewhere. He's bright orange, so it shouldn't be hard to find him, which is concerning. Oh, I see him. I see him. He's back behind that rock. Okay, he's fine. He's fine. Oh, he's coming out now. Okay, there he is. So we have a red, an orange, a yellow, and a blue. And then this guy is a cardinal tetra. We've had him forever. We tried to get a school of cardinal tetras for him to be with. They all died. We had a water pH issue, so our water was um, 8, which is not great for these fish. They want to be more at like... Well, it was higher than eight. 
um, they want to be at like 7.5. So the fact that it was like not even readable is so high, um, was a problem. We think it's because we got like this extra stage in our, um, water filtration system for the house and we just put tap water in because we have well water so we don't have any chlorine or anything in our water but um yeah I think our water is just really hard now the pH is very high um so yeah now we have treated the pH in the tank it's measuring just about where it should be is great these guys are really active but they've already eaten for today I may get a couple more of them because they seem to be doing really well in this tank we're just taking it slow um, we lost four no five of these cardinal tetras a hillstream loach that we'd had for many many years and a quarry cat a pygmy quarry cat but everybody else seems to be fine um, so I may get a hillstream loach or two to replace that one. They're like the ones that are kind of flat that look like stingrays that go on the sides of the tank. Um, so I will miss him because he keeps things very clean. So like all of this and stuff, he'd be going around eating it. Um, so anyway, let's unplug this. Okay, I can't do that one-handed. All right. But, um bedtime for me too but I was coming down to quickly move close to the dryer and then I'm gonna um, wash my face and brush my teeth put my pajamas on and um, try to knit a square on my blanket because um, I did work in all but two ends so I'm just gonna go with it because I want to get started on knitting my advent minis. Oh, the warm laundry. So nice. I'm going to take out that hand towel for upstairs. Yeah. God, that still smells so perfumey. I don't know whose shirt this is. It randomly showed up. It's big enough to be my husband's size. I don't know who stayed at my house that left it. It smells very much like fabric softener and perfume. So I'm like, maybe it was my sister. My mom says it's not hers. It's, I don't know. I don't know. Andrea said it's not hers. Because it looks kind of like it would be a pajama shirt. For, and it's Old Navy. So anyway, Josh is like, well, I'll wear it. But... Um, the fabric softener was really bothering him, um, cause we don't use fabric softener. Like the smell of it was just too strong for him. Um, we use white vinegar for fabric softener, which is really good for your clothing instead of, um, the fabric softener. I also washed some stuffed animals. So this giant shark is in tuna. Dun -it, dun -it, dun -it, dun -it. That was in my laundry. He was on the floor of the playroom, though, so he needed to have a bath. He and the giant bobblehead, Hello Kitty, both got a nice bath today. So they are clean now. I think the kids were playing with them when we had our Thanksgiving guests. So, yep, I'm just going to cycle stuff from the washer to the dryer, go do my nighttime stuff, and try to get a square in before I pass out, because I'm really tired. So, happy day two of Vlogmas, or day, yeah, December 2nd, day three, I guess, of Vlogmas.